Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Tonight we're going to take a look at feeding your cows. Um, this is actually a pretty complex topic because there's three big stages that we have to kind of go through to do this. First of all, we're going to have to make the materials to feed the cows. And then there are two different methods we can use to feed those cows using the materials. We can either collect them using bales or we can use a collection wagon system. And I'm going to show you how to do both. Um, Farming Simulator is a great game because it allows you to kind of do things the way that you want to do them. So I'm trying to give you some basic guidelines on how to do these things. But you may find that you have your own way of doing it, and that is absolutely fine. Everybody has their own way of doing things in this game, and there's a million different ways to do things. And that's what I love about this game. It's very open-ended, um, and you can use all kinds of different equipment to do different things. So one of the things that you're going to note about this video, I'm not going to use any mods except for one and I'll show you that mod once we get going but uh, I try to make these videos as simple as possible so I don't use mods yeah I know you could do this mod or there's this mod wagon that you could use or that mod device but the whole point is for people that play on consoles they don't always get the same mods as PC users get so I try to keep these things very mod free so we're playing on Ravenport map and I have built a cow farm. So let's go ahead and take a little bit of, of a tour of the cow facility so we can get an idea of what we need to do. And we're also going to take a look at the cow stats. And so here it is. This is a small cow pen that I've built in the middle of one of my fields. Um, this holds up to, I believe, 50 cattle. Let's take a look real quick in the menu. If I go into our shop and I go to the placeable menu item and I go into my animal pens, we have two different cow pastures that we can build. One's 100 and one's 300,000. 300, the 100,000 one is the one that I built. It holds 50 cows. You can also build this $300,000 facility that holds 200 cows. If you want to do more cows and make more milk, you can definitely do that with the bigger facility. But I would recommend starting small first because there's a lot of work that goes into this. Um, we have a couple areas around the, the barn that I'm going to tour you here. Obviously, we have the pen where the cows live. Um, this is where we put um, straw. And so what we're going to do is if we have a loading wagon or one of these straw blowers, and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on in the tutorial, uh, we can come here and use those pieces of equipment to load straw into the pen. Now, as we add straw, and you'll see here I've added some, if you look down in the grass here, you'll actually see straw starting to appear. If I put as much straw as I can possibly fill in here, this whole paddock will get filled with straw. Now, why do we want to use straw? Well, eventually, if you have enough straw in here, um, the cows will do their thing, poo and pee on the straw. And I'm too immature to do this, <laughs> obviously. Uh, manure will start to appear, and you can see it is here. Uh, that straw is needed to, you, basically in real life, they would muck that out and put it into this pen right here. And as it built up, you'd have all the straw and manure mixed together and eventually you'd have a nice fertilizer to put on your field. So the reason why we use straw in the game is because one, it gives us manure and two, it gives us 10% capacity for, or production for the cows to make milk. So we're gonna have to give the cows straw in their pen. We also can mix it into their food, but they have to have it in their pen if you wanna get the manure and you wanna also get the um, 100% productivity from the different things that we add together. Uh, this area right here is slurry. Um, slurry is basically liquid manure. You can also use that as fertilizer for your fields. Cows just naturally produce slurry and manure. All right, so over here we're going to walk around the back. Here is where we have our water trough. You're going to need to need a trailer, and we'll go over that, to give the cows water. This is where the trailer comes, and you park it into this zone here, and you'll get a little message saying unload trailer, and you say yes, and the contents of that trailer will dump into this trough. Over here we have the cow buying and selling doors. Um, if you have uh, an animal trailer, and hang on one second, I'll show you what those look like. You can either have a semi-truck style trailer, and you can hear, see here I put sheep in this one. And or you could have this uh, Joskin smaller style trailer and I've got piggies in here. I don't know if you can I can't really see them, but there's some pigs in there here. Now you can see the pigs. <laughs> um, these trailers can be used to buy animals from the animal dealership. Now on this map, it's next to field 14. You can see there where my guy is on the map. It's south of the Lime Station and it says animal dealer right on the map. Um, you pull your trailer. 
into this area and you right click you click the left um, joystick button on, or you press the R button on your keyboard depends on the console you're on and I'm trying to do my best to give you those controls but uh, here you can add animals to the trailer uh, right now my trailers are full so I can't add anymore but you use this interface to put the animals onto the trailer there is no fee if you bring your own trailer then you get in the truck or tractor that you've used with this trailer and drive it up to your farm and we go back to those doors so when you've got your truck back up here you back it right up to here and you're gonna press your left mouse button or I'm sorry your left <laughs> joystick button or the R button on your keyboard if you're playing a computer and it'll bring this menu back up and you'll have a little option to to move the cows into the pen once again having your own trailer means that there's no fee for transporting the animals however if you do not have an animal trailer you can still walk right here to this door press the button and buy your cows um, until the paddock is full you will be charged I believe it's two hundred dollars per cow transport fee that's just how it goes uh, one thing that you can do if you want to breed cows you can buy let's say this is a 50 paddock you can buy 25 cows um, over time you'll get each day you'll get another cow or you know and the more cows you have the faster they produce eventually you'll have 50 cows and then you can sell 25 of those cows using a trailer or using this fee using this uh, um, spot um, and make money also selling the cows so and then sell them back down to 25 and then build back up to 50 sell them back down to 25 if you use your trailer obviously you'll get the money for the cows uh, for selling them but if you um, use just the menu and you don't have a trailer they are still going to charge you that two hundred dollar fee uh, but you're still making money selling the cow so I would recommend actually doing that like having starting with 25 cows letting them get up to 50 selling off half of them letting them get back up to 50 selling off half of them because now you're making money with milk and you're making money with the sale of cows um, but that you do that all from this area here let's move around to the back this is where you throw the food um, so you, when you have cow food mixed and I'm gonna show you how to do all that stuff in this tutorial uh, you're going to put the food in these bins here basically by pulling into this area you can see this area does get messy so you're going to have to clean it up with a front loader every now and then um, last but not least we have these side doors this is where the milk is picked up uh, you will need to do that yourself there's a couple milk trailers in the game we'll show you that as part of the kit once you've backed the trailer up you'll you'll be able to right click the button and it'll start to fill the, the trailer up with milk um, once the trailer is full of milk, you can take it to anywhere on the market, and we'll go into the map and take a look here that accepts milk. So if I scroll through my list here, I can see that um, this is a milk jug right here. The Central Grain Elevator, Port Grain Elevator, Ranch, and Restaurant all take milk. You're going to obviously try to sell it for the highest price, so right now the ranch is the best place to sell it. But you're going to take that truckload of milk and sell it at the ranch and make a whole bunch of money because cows make a lot of money. One of the questions I know that you're going to ask is how did I get all the money in the game? I cheated it in editing the farm XML. When I play my normal games, I don't cheat money in, but for demos and tutorials, I do. So that is a complete uh, uh, tour of the cow facility. Now let's go ahead and take a look in the menu at the cow stats. And this is an important feature. So if we go in here and I go to the animals, I can look. I've got um, these cows are at 79% productivity. I've given them already some water. I've given them straw. I've given them some hay and silage and grass. I have not given them any total mixed ration. And when, once I give them total mixed ration, they'll reach 100% productivity. So right now you can get 80% productivity without making total mixed ration, but uh, we're going to go through all of that. So um, it's really easy to do some of these things, but the mixed ration is a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to show you how to do all of that, all of the above and how to do these cows and get them fed so that you're getting 100% productivity. So let's go ahead and take a look at the equipment that we're going to need. Every good animal farm is going to have equipment to play with both grass and uh, straw bearing wheat. <laughs> uh, there's three crops in the game that give you straw, okay? You have wheat, barley, and oats. Now, some mods will add more, but those are the three that are in the game to begin with. Uh, in order to get that straw, you're going to need a good old-fashioned harvester. You don't have to have a giant one like this. You can get a smaller one, but you will need some sort of regular old harvester, uh, and you're going to need a field of wheat or oats or barley um, to make those straw bales. You can see I've got a bale there, or to, or to collect straw, um, and I'll show you how to do both. But um, 
you go to any one of these harvesters to go out there and make those straw swaths. You'll also collect the grain so you can sell that, but uh, you will need a harvester. You're also going to need some grass working equipment. Uh, so here we have some examples. You're going to need a mower. There's all kinds of mowers in this game from the Big M, which is back here, which mows really quickly. And I use this mower to mow this field here, and it took like maybe 10 minutes to get the whole field mowed. Uh, all the way down to the smallest mower, which is this New Holland mower. You're also going to need, obviously, a tractor to run all this stuff. Uh, you will need a tether. Now, what does a tether do? Well, a tether makes hay. It turns grass that you've mowed into hay. Now, in the game, it turns it uh, instantly into hay. In real life, it takes... Basically, what a tether does is it flips the grass around a bit and gets the moisture out of it. Helps it the wet side kind of flip up towards the sun and dry out. Dry grass is what hay is. So... Uh, basically, you're going to mow, you have wet grass, you're going to take the tether, you're going to ted about half of it and turn it into hay, and then you're going to have what's called a windrower, because when you ted it, it spreads the, the grass all over the field, and I'll, I'll demonstrate that so you guys can see that. You're also going to need a windrower to row it back up so that you can get a baler or a loading wagon to collect it, um, and once again, we'll, we'll demonstrate this stuff in the field pretty quickly. Um, last but not least, you can either get a tractor with a front loader or as you see here, this case does not, I don't think this case comes with a front loader. Um, you'll need to buy like a little new Holland, uh, with some bale spikes and this, this bale spike comes with the shredder. So I'll show you how that, that goes too, but, um, you'll need a front loader and you'll need a set of bale spikes to move the bales around. Last but not least, you're going to need a, um, feeder this is a or a mixer basically you're going to put some of the bales in here and you're going to mix together um the the feed that the cows need to make the total mixed ration so you'll need one of these also to feed your cows properly if you want 100 percent productivity if you don't and you just want to feed them hay and silage and grass then that's fine but if you want to actually get them tmr this is what you're going to need and there's three different ones in the game we're going to go over all of them so you can see them in operation I'll show you how to mix them properly because they mix differently. So it's a little bit confusing, but we'll get there. The very last piece of equipment that you need when you're going to be doing this, uh, before we get into the baling equipment and the loading wagons, but just every cow farm is going to need this piece of equipment, is a water tank. This tank not only transports water up to the cows, and I've showed you where you put it in, but this is also the same trailer that you're going to use to deliver milk. You can There's three different trailers in the game. This one and the semi-truck one can carry both water and milk. The very small one, the Aquatrans, only carries water, so you can't use it to transport milk. So I would recommend getting this trailer if you've got a small farm or the semi-trailer if you've got a large farm. 50 cows need about four loads of this, of water. <laughs> but they're going to make a lot of milk, so it'll be worth it. So aside from the equipment that, the equipment that I've already shown you, there are two equipment ways that you can go once you've gotten that far. You can either use a collection wagon, and I'll go over that set next, with a, a hayloft and a silage pen, or you can do the baling method. And this is the baling method. Uh, you're going to buy a round baler or a square baler. You're going to need to get a bale wrapper. This, this coon bale wrapper works with both round and square, so I recommend it. Um, there is also a coon baler that has a wrapper built on, but I don't necessarily recommend that one because you can't get just plain old grass bales with it. Um, this is a little bit more flexible. It costs a little bit more for the two parts, but I find that this actually works better for me than the auto wrapping baler that um, is from Kuhn. So I would get the New Holland baler and I would get this one, but do whatever you want. It's You can play the game however you want. That's once again how I why I love this game. Last but not least, I would strongly recommend this mod. This is the Ursus T127. This is the only mod that I'm going to recommend in this tutorial. It is both available for console and for um, PC, so all you got to do is go into the game's mod hub and download it. Uh, but I would strongly recommend this if you're going to use round bales, because otherwise you're going to have to be handling them and trying to get them to get on the trailers without rolling off. This is a big help, so you really need to get this for your farm. Um, so that's what you need to do the baling route, uh, at least at bare minimum that's what you need. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the other way that we can go. Here are all the things that you're going to need to do the second route. So if you decide not to go with the baler, you're going to go instead with a collection wagon, and you're going to store some of your materials in that hayloft. And the rest of what you need is going to be stored over here in this silo. And you, you can build these silos. There's several different kinds of silos available for building, but uh, your grass is going to go in here, and you're going to turn it into silage, and then you're going to st uh, store hay and straw in this building. 
Um, the nice thing about this is that you have a, a 250,000 liter capacity with this. I'm not sure what the capacity is of the silo, but uh, let's see, does it tell us? No, it doesn't. Uh, but there are, this can hold quite a bit of material. Um, so that way you get a lot of material and it's a little bit easier to mix too because you can mix just by loading stuff into here and then you're gonna have to hand load silage. But uh, I'll show you how to do that too. But this is a much more efficient way. Mm, I would say it probably costs three times as much as the baling setup, but, or at least, at least twice as much as the baling setup but it's going to get you a lot more material for your cows and you're going to have to feed the cows a lot so this may be the easiest solution for you to do that um i do like this setup quite a bit and i've been using it on my own farm um, but i'll show you how to use this too so we're going to kind of go over the two different methods um both the baling and also this method uh, in this tutorial so once again this is going to be a longer tutorial there's a lot to it be patient with me as we go through it but you're going to learn a lot through this hopefully and so let's go ahead and move on to the first part. I'm going to show you how to make the materials and we'll kind of fly through that because it's pretty easy. Your cows are going to need four different materials. Uh, and here we have three of them shown. The, the, um, we have straw, which comes from, once again, wheat, barley, or oats. We have silage, which is basically grass that gets wrapped and then it rots and becomes silage or ferments. And then we have... Um, the uh at the bottom there we have hay and hay is um the f the third ingredient and then of course the last ingredient is grass which i don't have a grass bale right now but um those are the four main ingredients that the cows need to eat um the grass will be not be used in tmr but it'll be used when you dump it directly into their bin because they do need to have a certain amount of if you once again if you look at the animal stats they need you can see down on the right they need grass from the bottom up they need some hay and or silage you're going to fill both of those up. They also need total mixed ration. I'm going to show you how to make that. And then they need straw like we talked about. And that's why we need straw. And they're also going to need water. So uh, those are the materials that they need. Now we have, um, let's go ahead and start making the materials. I'm first going to show you how to make straw. So let's go do that. All right. So we're going to take our harvester. This is how we make straw. It's really super simple. We're basically going to run this thing down the, the aisle. And I just turned it off by mistake. Uh, and you can see there the straw is coming out of the back. By default, when you buy a harvester, it's set to have the straw come out the back like that. Uh, but you can also turn that on and off. So if you have a, a harvester and you're seeing uh, this going on, you're going to want to, uh, where it's just spraying like that, you can see it's not leaving a trail. You're going to want to go into your menu, and on the Xbox controller, it is, um, you're going to hold your left bumper down, and you're going to press right on the control pad. And that makes it enabled. And so let's go ahead and run. You can see it again. If you're using a computer and you're not using a controller, you can use the comma key. The comma key is the one that turns it on and off. You can see here I can shut it back and forth. By pressing my comma key, I'm turning it on and off. I want it on. So I want it to be making straw. I'm going to hire a worker and let that guy go to town. That's how we make straw. Really easy, right? All right, so now we're going to mow some grass. Uh, this is how we make our second type of material. So once again, we need straw, grass, hay, and silage. Uh, I'm going to make this grass. You can do two things with grass. You can either keep it as grass, three things actually. You can keep it as grass. You can uh, ted it to make it hay, like I said before. Or you can gather it and put it into our bunker, that silo that we have, and you can turn it into silage. You can also wrap it to turn it into silage. So we're going to show you a little bit of all of that going on here. I'm just going to keep mowing for a little bit. But we've made some rows over there nice and neat for us to collect. So, uh, But this is the second big material. And everything else that you get aside from straw comes from grass. So silage, hay, and grass all come from mowing the lawn. That's why the mower is so important. Once again, if you pick, you can pick whichever one you want. This one I thought windrowed, but it doesn't anymore. It used to actually windrow, but they've obviously removed that from it. So... Uh, not as much as useful as it used to be, but that is the mowing the lawn part. I'm going to show you how to make hay next, and then I'll also show you how to make silage. So now I'm using what is called a tether. The tether, once again, we talked about, flips the grass over. You can see immediately in the farm sim game, uh, when you flip the grass over, it is now considered hay. In real life, it would probably have to dry for a couple days. Uh, you'd flip it and let it dry a couple more days, uh, and then you would have hay. But in the game, it's immediate. So... 
we're turning all of that grass that we just mowed and we're going to turn it into hay. And so we have some hay to work with for our tutorial. Uh, but there you go. That's an e a very easy thing to do, right? Nothing more to it than just running over it with that. Uh, if you have a big field like this that you've made grass for your cows, I would say make half of it hay and make the other half grass. Feed them some of the grass, like use you know your baler or your loading wagon to feed them the grass, and then um, and then you're going to uh, turn the other half into silage. So the last step to making hay, once you've windrow or once you've done your tedding, we do a windrower. Um, what the windrower does once again is it makes it into a nice neat pile, so that it's much easier for us to collect. And I'm going to run down the row here. You can see it's taken all that stuff that I windrowed and or I'm sorry, all the stuff that I mowed and tedded. And it's making a single pile of hay, which makes it much easier for my loading wagon or baler to pick it up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make that. And you can see over there to the left, I've done this already. I've got some nice lines of grass, and I've also got some nice lines of hay. Um, so we're ready to make some materials here. And that's what this section is all about once again. We're just talking about how to make the three materials that we need to get everything that we need to feed the cows. So we've got grass. Over there we've got straw. And we also have right behind me hay. And those are the three main materials in the game. Um, so, but what about silage? We got to figure out how to do that. So let's go ahead and take a look at that next. Silage comes in two forms. One, you can either take grass and wrap it with a, a bale wrapper and it becomes silage immediately. Or you can take grass and put it in here and then compress it. And I'll show you the process of doing that. It's going to take a little while and we can make silage here. Um, the other thing that you can do to make silage is you can use these forge harvesters, and I'll show you how to do that also. We're going to chop up this corn, and corn chaff will also make silage. Uh, so we can use, that's why farmers grow corn and you see them growing it to feed cows, like feed corn. Um, that is exactly what they're doing, is they're chopping this stuff up, and they're grinding it up, and they're putting it into these silos, and they're making silage for their cows. So... Um, you can either use a baler and bale wrapper, or you can use the uh, silage. Let's go ahead and demonstrate both of those so you can see it happening. So once again, to make silage, uh, especially with silage bales, you cannot use hay. You have to use grass. And that's why I told you earlier on that you're going to want to leave half the field hay and half the field grass, because you're going to need grass, hay, and silage. So you need to leave a lot of it grass so that you can make silage bales. If you try to make a silage bale out of hay, it will not work. Um, so you got to use grass. So right now you can see here the grass is the darker colored material. The hay is the lighter colored material. So I'm making a grass bale right now. And uh, I'm going to pop that out. And the silage, the nice thing about the bale wrapper and using bales versus using the method I'm going to show you later, the, um, the loading wagon method, is that it's instantaneous. Um, as soon as I do this right there, I'm going to, I have a grass bale, and then all I have to do is wrap that grass bale, and I'm going to end up with a silage bale like that's over there, and it's ready to feed to the cows. The downside is, of course, you have to store all of these bales, and you're going to have bales lying everywhere. Um, it, you can keep it nice and neat and organized, but it it is a little bit of a task to keep them organized and not to knock them over when you're working and stuff. So, uh, in real life, these bales are huge, heavy, and they don't you know get knocked over very easily. But that is. We've got our two grass bales, so let's go ahead and grab our wrapper. And I want you to see this in action. Here I have a hay bale directly in front of me. This is a bale that was made from hay. And as I bring this over it, it will not wrap it. It'll say, eh, this bale's not supported. You can see over here this darker colored bale, which is grass. When I pull my tractor over it, you're going to see this goes, boop, it's going to grab it. And it's going to wrap it. And immediately it becomes silage. Now in real life... I think they said 90 days about, like about three months it has to sit, and it will start becoming silage, and then you can feed it to the cows. But uh, it's not instantaneous like it is in the game. But then again, it is still, even though it's a simulator, it still is game-like in many senses. So there's our silage bale. And so we have wrapped grass, which is silage. And then I'm also going to leave this other bale grass, because obviously you still need to feed the cows just regular old grass too. So... You want to make sure that you leave some of the bales grass and feed them directly to the cows, and you want to make sure some of them are silage. But we'll, we'll cover feeding them to them in a minute here. Um, I'm going to shut that off. And let's go ahead and take a look at the other ways to make silage. So once again, you cannot use hay to make silage. You're going to have to use grass. So I'm going to bypass those 
nice hay rows that I've made. I'm going to go right over here to the grass, and I've got my loading wagon. I turn the loading wagon on, and I lower it. And I'm going to fill this guy up. And so we're going to collect as... I'm not going to collect a ton of grass, but I'm going to collect some grass, and we'll show you what to do with it. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and collect this. We'll see you in a sec. So I've collected some silage, or some uh, grass. I'm going to bring it over here to this bin. Now, the grass will not go in our hayloft, um, so you'll have to bring it here. I know there's probably a mod that lets you do it, but in this case, we're not dealing with mods. Oops, wrong button. Uh, and so I'm going to open this thing up, and I'm going to start unloading the grass into the, bu the bunker here. You can see I screwed up there, and I missed the end of the bunker, so I'm going to go back and get that. Uh, but that puts that in there. Once the grass goes into the bunker, it turns into chaff. You can see the two different colors there. It's uh, a lighter green when it becomes quote-unquote chaff, uh, but it's still grass. The bunker sees it as chaff. So that end piece I missed, that sucks. I'm going to go back and we'll just suck that back up again and try again. There we go. Tutorial fail. All right, so let's go ahead and take this back here. Oh, and it was only 397 liters, too. It was like nothing. So we're going to dump that off, and I'm going to show you what to do with all this stuff because obviously there's you're like, why is he doing this? Well, you'll see. So we're going to dump that in there. And I'm going to park this. Uh, so now let's look at the other method of getting silage, and that is using a uh, uh, forge wagon slash corn harvester uh, for doing that. So let's go ahead and do that now. This is the first setup that you can use. Uh, basically, we have a small forage harvester on the front of this tractor. I say small, but the bottom line is this thing's heavy duty, and you need a big tractor to run it. So um, I've got this case 340 Magnum here and we're going to be pulling a crone tipper, big chaff tipper. There are a few tippers in the game that are designed specifically for chaff. This is one of them. And we'll go ahead and put this guy to use. Uh, this is a lot cheaper than buying a forage harvester because you're going to need a big tractor anyway. So if you're going to go this route, you can do this. Uh, but once again, the forage harvesters are expensive. However, it's a lot slower and more tedious than using a forage harvester. So. There we go. And, of course, the, then you can see there the pipe automatically sees it. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy fired up. So it's chaffing now. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this corn and we're going to chop it up into chaff by lowering that. Once again, this is tedious because it's small. It's going to take you a long, long time to chaff a field. And that is why we have forage harvesters in the game because they go a lot faster than this. But you can see the spring into the back of the tipper with that amazing animation right out of Farm Sim 15. <laughs> Surprised they haven't. Anyway, uh, so that is the use of this small forge harvester, but who wants to do this all day, right? So let's dump that bad boy off and do it with a real machine. Uh, I'm going to pop this over here, and we're just going to unload that front. And we're going to take a, we're going to use this tipper still. Uh, I'm going to show you how they do it in real life. You can hook some of the tippers up to the forge harvesters. Most of them have to be the dollied ones. So this one, you'd have to actually hire a worker, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, this is prototypically how they would do it in real life. Uh, so we're going to get our forage harvester. I'm going to fire it up, unfold it. I'm going to put our pipe up. And we're going to get right over here by the field, and I'm going to hire a worker. So this is a chop harvester once again, or forage harvester. I'll do a separate tutorial on them also because they do a lot more than just this, but... Um, this for this video, that's all we're going to cover. So I'm going to pull along next side, uh, next to him and set my cruise control to six miles an hour. And he will start to go once I'm going. There we go. We're going to work as a team and he's going to fill this tipper up with what's called chaff. So once again, we're chaffing the corn, uh, and they do do this in real life. I have seen these out in the fields before. Not a lot, but they do do it in Ohio. <laughs> they do it all over the country. Uh, basically, we're going to turn this corn into silage. So, look at the other one caught up. Ooh, weird. <laughs> kind of creepy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this wagon up, and we'll, we're going to make some silage, guys. You can see the whole process. We're almost done here with this portion of the video, and we'll move on to the baling method so you guys can see how to feed the cows using just bales. Uh, and then I'll show you the other method. And so our worker is almost through here. And uh, you can see here we've got a ton of material stored up. The tipper is almost full. And uh, fill that up right there. 
And it'll be done. There it goes. He's all finished. I don't know why I can't close this. There it is. Okay, it's that one. All right, so we're going to take this over to our forge uh, bin. And uh, turn that blinker off. And we're going to go ahead and dump this in here. And then I'll show you how we're going to make silage. So silage is fairly easy to make in these bunkers. I hope I don't get stuck going up this big hill. I haven't used the terrain tool to fix that yet. I know people are going to yell at me about that. Why didn't you use the terrain tool? Because I'm a goofball. Get, get used to it. That's this channel. Um, so we're going to unload this here. About halfway done. You want to keep moving while you're doing it so that you don't make a big pile that you can't climb over. Um, so we're going to get into the next phase here. So now that we've dumped a bunch of chaff into this bunker, and, and you know, in all reality, you'd want to fill this up as much as you possibly can. Like, I would put that whole cornfield in here. Um, but uh, obviously we can't do that because this is... <laughs> I'm not going to spend hours chopping all that down. But you'd want to fill that up as much as possible before you do what we're about to do. So now we're going to open up our help menu. You can see here when I get close to the bunker, it says that this is filled with 75,000 liters of chaff. And it is 17% 17, 17 compacted. We need to run over the chaff until it's 100% compacted. So you can see here I'm rolling it with the wheels. I'm going to run back and forth with this heavy big tractor. And uh, this can take some time if you have a lot of chaff in there. If you put a whole bunch in, it can probably take you a good... You know, 20, 30 minutes to compact it. So you're going to be run, doing some running back and forth. In fact, even here, you can see it's taking me a while. So I'm going to go ahead and keep running back and forth. I'll catch up with you guys once I have it more compacted. So it's um, not boring. We'll be back. All right. Our silage is almost compacted all the way. 99%, 100%. So we're going to back the tractor off. And I'm going to step out. And we're going to get here, and you can see I have an option to press my left control stick or the R button, same thing. That's going to cover the silo. Now, in 24, actually, I think it's like 12 hours, but it might be 24 hours. But by tomorrow morning, this will have turned into that rich brown silage that we need. And it shows you right there on the left-hand side with my help menu that the silage is 1% fermented. You need to wait till that's 100%. You'll get a little message on the upper right-hand corner saying that your bunker is finished. And we can use that material. So we are going to have to wait 24 hours to continue this tutorial the second half. So you guys have now seen how to make our four main materials. We have straw, uh, which is done by harvesting uh, oats, wheat, or barley. We have hay, which is done by mowing, tedding, and then windrowing. And we have grass, which we do by, well, just mowing and windrowing. And then last but not least, we have silage, which we can make by using bales or we can also use the uh, silo method to make the silage uh, by chopping corn or grass and putting it in there and running it over and then covering it. So those are our four main materials. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the two different methods that we have for feeding the cows. We have the bale method and then we have the loading wagon method. I'm going to show you everything to do with the bales first and then we'll come back again and do the same thing. But this time we'll use a loading wagon and a feeding wagon and it'll make it a little more sense. So let's go ahead and get that started. So making bales is as simple as I've already shown you. Uh, we bale grass to get grass. <laughs> right there, there's a grass bale. We bale grass to get silage by wrapping that grass bale, as you guys saw earlier in the demo. Uh, now we're just going to grab some, we're going to make a hay bale, real simple. Uh, basically, all you got to do is uh, run over the, the hay like we did with the grass, but this time it's going to be making hay because we're picking up hay. Uh, you can pick up materials halfway through. It will leave the bale at whatever has the most. So if you've collected like 70% hay and then you switch over to straw, it's still going to be a hay bale. Um, uh, so just so you guys know that ahead. Um, so we're going to go ahead and fill this up. And this is pretty easy to do. As you've seen, the same as the grass. The, you know, Just collecting and then basically pooping it out. And straw is pretty much the exact same thing. We're just going to run the straw over with the baler. And it's going to pick up the material. And voila, we have a straw bale. And that's it. Once it's filled up, you got to stop, empty it out. If you have a square baler, you can just keep rolling. The square balers are nice because they just keep rolling. And the bales are square, so they don't roll all over the field. If you got a real hilly field, you may want to use square baling equipment instead. However, square, square baler uh, equipment requires a much bigger tractor. So 
Uh, that's for a richer farm, honestly, the square bales. But the square bales are nice because, you, once again, you don't have to go chasing the bales all over the place. They're easy to stack, easier to move. You can hand load them on the trailers and stuff like that with a front loader, and they're not going to roll off. The, these round bales can be a real nightmare. So that's it. We've made some straw bales. We've made some hay bales. We've made some grass bales and some silage bales. So we have our four bale types. Uh, and we can go ahead and start feeding those to the cows. Uh, I want to show you real quick, though, that pickup wagon. I think it's important that you guys see that in, in action and why I like the pickup wagon. Uh, because it just it makes life a lot easier when collecting bales. So we're going to collect a couple of different bales here. and You can mix and match. You don't have to have all straw or all hay or all silage. You can, you can pick up one of each if you want. Um, you can pick up two of each. You can pick up all of one kind. But we're going to grab two straw bales. You can see how nice this is. I don't have to worry about trying to load it on. It's not going to fall off. I, there's just this is just so much simpler than using a f front loader to try to load this on the trailers. We're also going to slide over here, and I'm going to pick up my hay bale. Hay bale. I'm going to pick up my silage bale, and I'm going to pick up a grass bale. So we've got all four types of bales now. It'll pick up in a sec. There we go. Grass is on top. I'm going to kind of remember that for myself. <laughs> and we're going to bring these over here. And I'm going to show you how to direct feed the cows. We're not getting into the mixing of the TMR yet. We'll do that next. But we're going to feed all of these bales to the cows because they do need a little bit of grass, hay, and straw. Um, and you can even feed them silage. Uh, so we'll do that too so you guys can see how to do that. So we're going to dump that off, and I'm going to go grab my front loader. But you can see this trailer is really nice. That's why I recommend you download it and use it. Um, instead of trying to hand load those, this just it saves a lot of time, if, especially if you're new to the game and you haven't seen it before. I know most of you have been playing this game for a while, and you've seen this trailer, but this is a very essential trailer to the game. All right, so we're going to talk about bale, spreading the bales into the cow pen. Uh, we have our straw on the bottom here, so i got to get them. i got to knock these guys off the top here so I can get to it. There's one. And I'm going to put this thing into our shredder over here. We have that blue and green shredder. There is several different shredders you can buy. There's one for a for this. You can get one for a telehandler. And you can also get one for a front loader like on your tractor. So if you have tractor arms, you can buy one of these for the tractor arms. These kits, the or, these uh, kits, and I'll show you in the shop, they come with the forks that I'm using. So um, if you buy, if you go to here, and we go to um, baling technology, you're going to see right here we have all th what sorry animals <laughs> we have one for our uh new holland uh skid steer that we're using right now there's one for a front loader for tractor arms and there's one for a telehandler loader uh telehandler <laughs> telehandler loader swallow that one say that five times fast um these all come with forks you can see this piece right here here and here uh, it, it's included so you don't have to buy separate bale forks you can use them to load the bales and I didn't do a very good job loading the bale but whatever it ain't pretty but it'll work so let me come over here and we grab this and we put this on you do have to use something like this there's two things that you can use you can use this I'll show you this first and I'm gonna grind this up uh, and it loads up and you can see here uh, in the bottom right-hand corner, the size of the bale is getting smaller and smaller, how much material is left. However, the actual bale does not shrink, so it's a little goofy that they left that out. But you can see it's going into the cow pen, and slowly the cows are getting more hay underneath them. I'm sorry, more straw underneath them. I always do that. I'm hay straw. This is straw. <laughs> they get more straw underneath them. They're going to create more manure, uh, and they're going to be uh, producing a little bit more milk, too. So... We have happy cows because they have straw. Once that's done doing its thing, we can switch over to the second way to do this um, with the bales. So if we have a bale, that's the first way to do it. The second way is also fairly simple. You're going to need to have your cow feeder, which behind us we have the Coon Knight. Let me get this off here. Hang on. Let go. There we go. And you're going to take a straw bale, a bunch of straw bales. You can just put like four straw bales in there. Three, I think, is actually what the night holds. Whoa. And um, you're going to drop, like I said, up to three. I think with the Stroutman, either of the Stroutman feeders, 
you can put four bales in. But you can just dump a whole bunch of straw in here, and you can see it stays straw when it goes in. Uh, don't mix anything else in there. Just use the straw. And then you're going to grab a tractor. And you're going to take that tractor and put it onto the unit, onto the Coon Knight. Or the Stroutman, whichever feeder you decide. But, but all the feeders will do this. Um... And you basically run it over here. And you can dump straw in this way too. So you can see there we got the trigger. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And it dumps it out. And it fills up the cow pen. A little bit cheater-esque, I guess. Because it's not really how you would do it in real life. Maybe. But they probably put it in there and then a couple farmers stand there with rakes and rake it out into the pen. So that's nice and even. Um, rather than blowing it in there, though, you can use this. There's also a coon primer that you can use that does the same thing as that front loader piece. Uh, but that is how you do that. So um, now let's hop back into our little New Holland, and we're going to feed it the cows, silage, grass, and hay. And once again, it's very simple. I mean, very basic. So we're going to grab this grass bale. We want our cows to be you know, a higher percentage on the grass so that they have 100% productivity. And I'm getting stuck. Come on. There we go. You're going to drive this around to the back of the facility. Now, the procedure is exactly the same for hay and silage. So you're just going to do the same thing with those other two bales. You're just going to place this down here like that. Zoop. And it goes into the cow feeding. And now we have our hay, just to prove a point. Zoop. <laughs> Once it gets full, it won't take the bale. So if you have, like... 99% full, that last bale will not go in. So you'll you'll know that the cows are full. It'll also say it's that they've been fed sufficiently for six days, I think, or something like that. So uh, you'll know. Uh, but that's how you'll know. It'll it'll it won't go in anymore. Whoops. Let's play some bale bale football. All right. So we're coming around the back, and just to prove the point, zonk, zap, boom, it's in. So we are all set there. Uh, and if you look in our cow stats now, they have um, 18,000 hay silage. That's from the bales we fed them. And 19,000 grass. That's from the grass that we fed them. They're almost full on straw. They have a lot of water. Uh, their cleanliness is kind of high. We'll, I'll show you how to clean it at the end. Uh, and they're still at 79% productivity. Um, so we're working our way towards getting them up to 100%. But that TMR is what's going to take them over the edge. thought we should cover this real quick before we continue on. Uh, before we show you the TMR, this is where you get water on Ravenport. Uh, it is down in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, just north of Field 24. You have this weird water tank thing, and I brought my little water tank down. We're going to fill this up, and I'm going to show you how to give this to the cows. You just pull up next to it, click your left button on your controller or the R button on your keyboard. That is going to start the filling process. And you can see there we're filling up with water down at the bottom right. Um, so now we're going to have some water to water our cows with. All right, so we have our water tanker. I'm flying in here from halfway around the world. I'm bringing this in, and I'm going to dump this off right here. So you can see when you pull in here, ta-da, and the water goes into the cow pen, and the cows are happy. Everybody's drinking, and it's all good. I'm going to let that fill up. So we have our mixers uh, that we're going to go through now. I want to show you how to mix the different rations into the different types of mixers two of them are the same one of them is different so let's go ahead and get that started so this is where things get tricky mixing your food properly is important if you don't get the mix right you get what's called forage you can't do anything in the game right now with forage so uh, you want to make sure that you get the mix blend right with your mixers and um, you get your TMR but if you don't do it right you're gonna end up with forage you're going to have to dump the mixer out onto the ground somewhere and then slowly hand load it back in until you get the mix right. So pay attention. We have two different uh, types of um, mixing wagons here. Uh, we've got a self-propelled one. We've got a high capacity one from, I believe it's Silo King. That's this guy over here. Yeah, Silo King. And then we have our Coon Real Augie RA-112 Knight, the Coon Knight. Um, the Augie is small and Augie does not take the normal mix. So we're going to show you Augie's mix. This is what I recommend. I would recommend two hay, 
one silage, or you could do two silage, one hay. No straw in Augie, okay? Because you're going to mess up the mix. If you put, if you try to put a straw in there, it's going to mess everything up. You're going to have to dump it out and do it over again. So there's our, there's our hay. I'm going to grab this silage and put it in. There's our silage bale. We're going to dump that into Augie here. There, it has become total mix ration. And if I add this guy in, we'll still be good. We'll still be at total mix ration. We'll not have forage, I believe. Could be wrong. <laughs> Pretty sure. <laughs> I'm 90% sure that this will work. Boop, and there we go. So now, if I hop into the tractor, I'll be able to see the stats on that mix. I'm going to start up the engine, and I'm going to open up my F1 menu, and it's not showing it. There we go. Now it is because I'm connected. Uh, I have, uh, you can see down at the bottom, in the bottom right-hand corner, we have a picture of the two kind of seed-looking things with stars. That means we have total mixed ration, the cows will be happy. You can see here on the bottom left-hand side on our menu, we have 66% um, hay, and we have 33% silage. We could, once again, reverse that. Now, this unit is filled up all the way. If we wanted to... Uh, make less mixed ration but have straw we could add a little bit of straw in there too using maybe like a hay silo or a front loader with loose straw but you can't put another straw bale in if you put one hay one silage and one straw you will screw up the mix and you're gonna have to unload it so once again with this mixer i think it's just easier if you make it simple and you just use two hay one silage or two silage one hay um so however you want to do it but that's the best way to do it with this feeder Let's go ahead around the back, and we're going to go ahead and dump this off and feed it to the cows. I'm going to let that go ahead and do that thing, and we're going to leave it while it's... Oops, no, you guys stay connected. Ha! <laughs> Dang it, they've made it too realistic. In the other games, you could leave it, but we're going to let it go. So that's going to load into the cows there. You can see it dumping out. So let's grab our next baler. That is going to be the... Um, Silo King. And the Silo King and the Stroutman are pretty much exactly the same. Uh, oh, I don't need a tractor. I've already got one. Um, they take about the same capacity. In fact, I think the Silo King actually has more capacity than the Stroutman. Let's go ahead and look in the menu. But they will both work the same. Um, let's take a look. Animals. This holds 16,000. I think this holds... Oh, it's propelled. Dang it. This holds 17,000. Okay, no, so the Stroutman holds 1,000 more. But it's the same idea. And you're going to end up with the, the way I'm with the bales, you're going to end up with the same mix. Going, what are you talking about, Arthur? Well, I'll show you. You are going to add in one straw, one straw. Get that up. Come on. There's our straw. This guy's a little short to pull that off. Put that in there. It's too tall. Ugh. I'm going to have to grab it from the bottom. Sorry. Let's try this again. So there's our one straw bale. Whoop. Come on, shorty. We're going to use two hay bales. There's one. And I'll, I'm going to put that in and I'll get the second one. And we're bringing up the second one now. This is probably going to be difficult to get in. Been having some issues with this. It's a little bit too tall. You might want to use a telehandler or a front loader on a bigger tractor because this is a stretch. The last thing that we need to put in is one silage. Now, so why is the mix different? Well, this holds more capacity. It has the ability to fit all four bales in. Why would you put straw into the total mixed ration if you don't have to? Because people are like, why would you do that? Well, first of all, straw is free. Secondly, it gives you an additional 4,000 in your mix. Why wouldn't you put it in? Because now you're getting, a free, you have a free material, straw, and you're adding it to materials that take a lot more labor to make because hay and silage both require baling and all that stuff. They require baling, they require uh, tedding, they require windrowing, they require wrapping. Uh, straw is really just requiring baling, so you would want to add a straw bale. That way you, it's filler, basically. So now we've got all four bales in. One straw, two hay, one silage. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the um, load. I'll start this up. 
and attach it. And you can see here my ratio is perfect. And once again, down in the bottom right-hand corner, I have 16,000 liters of total mixed ration. And that is what we need to get the job done. So let's go ahead and pull around here and dump this off. So for both the self-propelled and the Silo King, uh, you need four bales. It's going to be one straw, two hay, one silage. It's that simple. Um, and I don't really need to show you on the self-propelled machine because it's exactly the same as this. The self-propelled machine has some other functions, though, and that's what we're going to go over next. So now that you've seen the bale method, we are going to move on to using the loading wagon method. Once again, you're going to need a hayloft, a loading wagon, and a silo. You will probably also want to get this Stroutman because this makes loading things a lot easier um, to make your total mixed ration. This is a very useful device. Once again, this is a little bit more expensive method, but it's going to give you a lot more material, and you're going to be able to do it a lot faster. So uh, instead of doing bales, you can do it this way, and you don't have to store the bales because you've got your hayloft, and so that makes things go a little bit faster for you. Um, so let's go ahead and get to that part now. So the nice thing about the collection method is it's a little bit simpler than the bale method. Things go a little bit faster, and you just you don't have to bale things, store things. You just kind of grab stuff and use it. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm showing you how to collect the straw. We want to get a nice stockpile of straw. There's two things that we can do with this straw using this method. If you guys remember in the baling section where we had to chop up the straw or put it into a feeder to get it into the cows, we don't have to do that when we have a loading wagon because the loading wagon has loose material. So all you have to do is drive over to the cow pen with your nice loading wagon. And we're going to do that right now. And we're going to pull up to where we were loading the straw into the pen. You don't have to have that yellow and blue uh, loading spreader. You don't have to have the cow mixer to do this. You can use a cow mixer if you want, but you don't have to. You just back right up. And voila, you put the straw in. And you can see it filling out the pen there. Cows are getting happy because they have lots of straw. The other thing that you're going to do with this, and this is really simple, we're going to go get some more straw. I'll be right back. So with the loading wagon method, we have the same idea as the bales. Um, I've showed you how to dump it into their pen. The other thing you can do is you can use straw as filler in your mix. So we definitely want to do that um, because it makes life a lot easier to have that mix to have that little extra straw in there so that you don't have to use quite as much of your precious, precious silage and hay. You can use just straw. So what we're going to do is we're going to stockpile this stuff uh, and we'll use it in our feed mix. And I'll show you how to do that. But you can also, you know, dump it back into here and put it into the cow pen if you need it. Uh, but that's what we need that hay loft for. So we're going to take this uh, straw. And once again, you can also do this with hay. Uh, though I've collected all my hay off the field, uh, the hay can be done exactly the same as this. You just collect the hay, and you're going to bring it over to here. You drive up to the side of the pen and park, and you'll have the, the menu right there. And I'm going to dump it out, and it goes up into our hay loft. So you can, uh, once again, store both hay and straw in your hay loft uh, up to 250,000 liters. And um, so there's that. So that makes life really easy. Um, so that is it for that part of the collecting wagon thing, but that's you. I want to show you that so that you know that you can store this stuff in there. Uh, now grass is the only thing that you can't store. So what you're going to do when you have grass, you're going to get rid of it right away. You're going to collect it. Uh, and I'll get a little bit more in here because this is a small amount. So I'm going to go grab some more. You can see here we're doing more collecting. Uh, once we've filled up this trailer, we can dump it into the cows. If let's say for example, we collect so much grass and feed it to our cows that they don't need any more. The remainder of it you can take, and like I showed you before, you can put it into that silage bin and make silage. You can also just use grass to make silage. Um, you can't wrap it like we did. Obviously, we have the bale, the, the, the wrapped bales. Uh, but you can put it into that silo that we built and the bunker that we built over there and uh, you know, start making silage with it. So uh, we have all the things that we need without having to bale anything, without having to wrap anything. But you do have to have the bunker and the hayloft for this type of thing to work. Uh, but I've been using it once again on my own farm, and it does work pretty well. So now we have the grass. Now the downside is if your bunker is full and you only have a single bunker, like right now how we're fermenting that silage, I can't add any more to it because it's closed. Once the silage has been taken all out of there, we can start adding grass to it again, but we can't do that. So then you just pull over here with the grass, 
And we're going to go ahead and dump this out. Ta-da! And that's it. We have fed grass to the cows using the loading wagon. Once again, if there's excess left over, just put it into your silo. If your silo's busy, I guess you could just sell it. Um, but, you know, try not to collect grass if you're, if you're not going to, you know, if you don't need it, obviously, because then it just becomes extra stuff that you don't need in your storing. So now we've gotten, let's say we've gotten all of our hay and straw collected off the fields and it's stored in our barn. We've got our silage being made. And uh, so I'm going to show you what the next step is. And that is where this Stroutman comes in. Uh, this guy is quite useful in a mix. I'm going to speed up time because we need to get to the point where the silage is ready. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, though, and show you the first two steps. And then once the silage is ready, we'll put that in. We're going to roll over here with this Stroutman. And I'm going to come over to our... Um, right here. I didn't do a very good job of placing this, but there we go. And I'm going to click the button, and I can load straw in here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to load hay in. And I'm going to press A to start it. And I think the right or the left click or R stops it. So once again, we'll start it again. And I, I don't want to get too much in there. I want to fill this thing up about 33%. So looking down at my bottom uh, right-hand corner there, you're going to see how I have the 4,100 liters. And I'm just going to do that until it's about there, and then I'm going to click it off. Um, I could even do a little bit more because you really want to use hay for the most part. There we go. That's about right. And then we're going to add some silage in and we're going to add some straw. But I'm going to do the silage next because we have to have silage, but we don't necessarily have to have straw. So we'll come over here. And this is where it becomes a very cool device. Uh, we're going to wait till that silage is done and we'll be right back. Now, while we've been waiting for the silage to be made, I'll show you real quick how to clean this up because you basically just take a scooper. See here, this is real easy. Just drive along here and scoop it up. Now, as you fast forward time, they're going to make messes very quickly. So be prepared for that. You're going to have to clean it probably once in the morning and once in the evening. You just dump it back in there. This stupid thing is too small. <laughs> and there we go. That's all you need to do. Or you can mix it into your mixer if you want to put silage in there. But that's all you got to do to clean the pen. Very simple. Very easy to do. Go ahead and park this here, get it out of the way. And we're still waiting for our silage to be made. It is not done yet. I'll catch up with you once it's finished. All right, so it's the middle of the night. I don't want to wake the cows up. Shh. Uh, we have gotten our, our fermentation is done. So we can press the left button or the R button to unload it. You can keep doing that if you want to continue to rip the cover off, but I just, it's, it's good as it is. So we take our Stroutman and we turn on our lights because obviously it's dark. And we're going to turn on the front by holding down the left button. We're going to turn this down, right? Oh, we need to unfold it. Sorry. You see when you unfold the mixer, it puts that little accordion up. And now I'm going to go ahead in here, and I'm going to suck up some silage. Um, you can open and close the front thing. But this is good. this is our silage grabber. And we're going to put this in here, and we're going to fill it up till we get till we get to green. You can see the ratio is going down a little bit, which is good. It's not mixed perfectly yet, but it's gonna. It will get there. Watch what happens. Now with the silage, as soon as we hit the green for both, there we go. I'm gonna lift that up, and I'm gonna put the rest in. I'm gonna try to put some straw in there. Let's see what happens. We're gonna roll back to our barn. Once again, I should have done a better job with the terrain. I kind of just threw this together. Sorry, guys. We'll we'll fix that for the next tutorial. Um, this was actually I started making this before the the ground thing came out, but. We put straw in, and we're going to watch the mix. Stop. Okay, right there, and it's full. And so we filled it up all the way. We have 17,000 liters of total mix ration. And we're yep. And I'm going to press it, and it's going to start unloading. And we're unloading food, as you can see, into the bin. It's a little dark. We can't really see it coming out, but it's doing it. Watch your face by these blades when you come over here. It's going out the wrong side, but it's it's still working. It doesn't. If you want to be realistic about it, you could switch sides and have it dump into the other side. But anyway, that shows you how to do the Stroutman method, and that is using the Stroutman and our loading wagon. We don't, we wouldn't need any balers or anything like that, but you do need a hayloft and you do need a bunker, and you're going to have to hand load the grass in and then start making silage with the remainder. So 
Uh, we can't make any more silage in this bunker until all that silage is gone. So what we're going to want to do is eventually you're going to want to build a double silo or build two silos. Uh, and they do have in our uh, building list. We do have double bunkers available. That probably would be a better thing to start with. I don't know why I did the first one. I've been yelled at before for doing that. But um, if we go over here, you can see there's we have a double bunker right there. And then you can get medium and large size double bunkers. So this would probably be a better bet because you can, while you're fermenting in one, you can start loading up another one. That's probably the best way to do it. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the milk now because there should be a, uh, some milk in the container. We have 99% productivity. When I pull up the, the uh, my trailer, my semi-truck trailer, it says start filling. So I'm going to click this. Oh, there we go. And it tells us there uh, we can hold up to 800,000 liters. Right now we have 3,000 liters of milk. It's not a great start, but uh, in the next day or two, there'll be lots in there. So. Right now we're filling all that milk into the trailer, and there it is. It's all in our trailer. Now we would take this to one of those sell points and sell it. So um, with the cool semi-truck, that's how you load it up. We have very little milk in there now, though, so we're going to wait till it fills up. But that is how you would deliver the milk. Um, so anyway, I hope that you guys found this tutorial useful. Uh, I try to be as brief as possible. I know it takes a long time to go through this material. This is honestly probably the most detailed tutorial that I have to do. The cows are... There's a lot of information to go through with cows. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, we'll see you for the next tutorial. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And uh, we'll see you on Farm Sim 19. Bye.